Tweet quests are similar to web quests. The children will be working cooperatively looking for information online. One of the differences is that it will occur on Twitter versus in a PowerPoint or wiki or website or web quest authoring system. Just like a web quest, you need to begin a tweet quest with the end in mind. So what is it you want the children to be able to know, understand, or do? Now your tweet quest can be simple or complex depending on what it is you want the children to accomplish. You can have a simple one where the children can choose between two or three links with a specific goal in mind like this one. Or you can make them more complex by having them link from one Twitter post to another which will also then lead them to links on the internet. To help the children understand a little bit more about President's Day and why we have the day off from school, I created this mini tweet quest, which allows the children to choose from two different links, one about Abraham Lincoln and one about George Washington. This is after we've done a little bit of other work around it, but it provides them with a different type of media to explore. So just like a, any other web quest, they have choice. Um, they can choose Abe or George and then they will need to click on the link. So if this, if they decided to choose Abe, then that video would pop up in Brain Pop. They could watch the video and then when they're done, they would click on reply and state with why Abraham Lincoln should be honored on President's Day and they would use information they gathered from the video to support their thinking. When I began creating this web quest, I already knew what I wanted the children to be able to do. I wanted them to be able to share why they think Abraham Lincoln or George Washington should be honored on President's Day. So what I did is, um, after we had done some other work around it, I found two videos on Brain Pop that I wanted them to then choose from and use information from those particular resources to share their thinking. So you can see I have the question already but I'm missing the link so I'm going to add the link. I'm going to go to the Abraham Lincoln video. I'm going to highlight the link. I'm going to copy it. Go to tinyurl and paste it in here where it says enter along URL. And Then I'm going to click make tinyurl. Once it comes up, you're going to notice three different URLs. Because it's Twitter and we have a limited amount of characters to use, I'm going to use the one in the middle because as you can see it has 25 characters. I'm going to highlight it, copy it, go back into my Twitter, and because it's Abe, I'm going to put it after that and paste it in. Now I still need to get the George Washington video which I know I want them to choose from. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to highlight it, copy it, go back into my tiny URL tab. And just because I've already used it, it doesn't matter. I can just paste over the one that I already had, click Make Tiny URL, and it'll create a new URL for the George Washington video. Again, I'll copy the shorter link, go back into Twitter, and here I know I want them to use it with George Washington and I'm going to paste it after George. And I'm just checking to make sure it's not linked up with any other words or letters so that the links are solid. When I'm done, I'm going to click Tweet, and that way my students will be able to use it. Just like with a mini tweet quest where you begin with the end in mind, you're going to do the same with a larger tweet quest. The only difference is that you're going to be linking from one tweet to another for the children to complete the quest. So I'm creating a tweet quest for the children on the Earth's layers to go with our rocks and minerals unit. For this particular area of the content, I know that I want them to be able to understand that the Earth has layers and I would like them to understand to know what the layers are and, and where they are located in the earth. 
I have found a variety of resources for them to use. Some are video, some are pictures, some are text in PowerPoint or song. And for this particular quest, I would like them to choose how they learn about the material. In order to do this successfully, I need to have the, the resources organized. So I'm going to create separate tweets for each type of resource. For example, I have resources that are pictures, so I'm going to create a tweet that has links to the picture resources. I have uh, linked resources that are videos, so I will create a tweet for the resources that are just videos, and so on. As you can see, this part of the tweet quest is ready to go. The only thing that's missing are the links. And in this particular tweet is going to be the links for the text option. I'm going to shrink the links again using tinyurl so that I can then paste them into the tweet. just need to make sure you separate them so that they come out as two separate links. And then I'm going to click Tweet. And then I repeated the process for the links in resources that were pictures and I also created a tweet for the resources that were either a game, a video, or a song. Now that I have the links created in their own tweets, I'm going to get the URLs for each tweet. Each tweet that you post has its own separate URL, and to access that, I'm going to click on your tweets so I can see the tweets that I've done. I'm going to find the ones I did about rocks and minerals, and I am going to click on the time. So here you see it says 26 minutes ago. I'm going to click on that and you can see it brings you up to the, its own URL. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it into a new window. I'm going to do that for each of the tweets so that I can create a URL for each of them. each time clicking on the time and then copying the URL and opening it in a new window. The reason why I open it up in a new window is so that I can then shrink the links and put them into a tweet when I go back into my home page. As you can see, I shrunk the URLs of each individual tweet and pasted them into here, just like I did with the other links to the resources. You can see here that I have a link for them to choose from text, a link here for them to choose from pictures, or a link for them to choose the other, which includes videos, games, or music. I'm going to tweet that. And I'm going to favorite it, that way I can use it again and again, it'll be in my favorites list. And I can also um, retweet it when I need to because I'm not quite ready to use it yet. I won't be ready to use it for at least another month. You can make a tweet quest as simple or as complicated as you want to providing just a couple of links or providing links within tweets within tweets within tweets. Either way, the children stay engaged and then they can still go back and post their responses on Twitter.